This strategy that I'm about to teach you right now can make you easy money every single day, no cap. But before I even show you the strategy, let me show you that it worked, and then I'm gonna show you the strategy. Let's get it. So somebody asked me, could I do a video, you know, showing the power of the 20 moving average and the, you know, the 200. So we know the 200 right here controls the trend, all right? And then we know the 20 right here, you know, usually carries the candles. I told y'all the candles usually don't go too far away from that 20 before it has to come back. So I'm starting to see that set up now, and I'm going to see it's already starting to retrace. I need to get in there. I'm going to get in there on 10 lots. I'm going to buy. Now, there is a spread, of course, so got a little gap in there. But I do believe we're going to pull back pretty decent. Eventually, if it pushes down around this area, if this bounce, I'll get in again. But for now, I'm going to get in this trade and I'm going to hold, you know? Yo, so as you can see, your boy is now up 300 bucks, right? How did you know, Jay? How did you know? I didn't already told you. Keep it simple, y'all. Don't overcomplicate it. I'm telling you. Easy money. All right? So now you can see that we came from the bottom all the way back to that 20 moving average, like I said. Very powerful. I actually could have made a little over $1,000 if I would have held it. And I know that, but I'm good with what I got. Now, let me explain this whole thing so I can blow your mind. Let's go. Yo, so I want to help your trading get better. So check this out. Make sure you got you a 20 SMA, 200 SMA or EMA. Doesn't really matter. All right. Note this. When the candles get away, when they get too far away from this two, this 20, they got to come back and touch it. All right. That's rule number one. All right. I don't care if you trade in the futures, stocks. I do not care. It has to come back in touch. All right. Just note. Just check check out each top. Boom. Came back in touch. Each top. Even this one. Boom. You already seen where it came back to. This one. Top. Came back. Had to. All right. So these these can be long term holds or scalps. Doesn't really matter. All right. So at least you know whenever you see that, then you know you can sell off and get to this bread. Now. You may need you a RSI or a stochastic oscillator or a TDI, whatever can show you over by over. So make sure you get that. All right. Make sure you have that on your chart as well. All right. So that's one. That's one possible way to start doubling your paper. You know what I'm saying? Just by doing that. All right. Another thing you need to know is that the 200 moving average controls the trend. Whenever the candlesticks are below it, you see how this one is? Everything is below. This purple, which is my 200, you see that? All right. So since it's below, I know we're in a downtrend. So I should only be looking for what? Sales. <laughs> Correct. I should only be looking for sales, right? Now, if you're a more experienced trader and you like counter trend trading, trading against the trend, you could do that. But the trend is always your friend. All right. Understand that. I counter trend trade and I do both. But the trend is definitely your friend. All right. So we're, we drop below this. 200 we retest it and we, we retested about right here and didn't go anywhere right we didn't go back above the, the the 200 so we already know we dropping back down the moment we drop below this 20 game time we sell off now if you want to be if you want to sell off a little earlier great if you want to get an overball oversold level and catch this too great you could do that right um but if you just selling based off this 200 i mean this 20 we cross below it, boom, we selling. All right, now we in the mix, right? We selling, boom. And that was, that was a great, great trade, all right? So I'll give you more examples on how this plays out. Now, the best thing to do when you're in an uptrend, where you're coming from, so this right here at the bottom probably would have been an overball, oversold level. So I told you you might need the RSI, TDI, or stochastic to let you know that. This is more than likely an overbought or oversold level, pushed up through the 200, then pushed up through the 20. Two things to note about these. The um, 20 is going to carry the candles. That's what it does. It carries the candles. It acts as support and resistance. All right? So whenever they cross above it, it's usually going to carry it, especially if the candles go above the 200. 
and they go above the 20, we buy them all day. The best place to buy is on the pullback. So if the market goes up, pulls back, you want to buy here. Boom. Now, rule of thumb, if we this close, right, and you and you feel like, hey, we crossed above that 200 because we know the trend, that makes the trend go up, we crossed above and at least close another candle above the 200, you want to hop in for a buy, cool. You hop in for the buy. The moment we close, the moment we get a candle, right, that a green candle that passes this, the, the tallest red candle to his left, the moment we get that, we know we're taking off. Boom. So we enter here and we catch the whole thing. We got a small pull back here. We're going up, but we're getting too far. So eventually we're going to hit a zone somewhere up in here, somewhere, and we're going to pull back. All right. So remember that. That's what I want y'all to remember. And you can look at this on any chart, y'all, and you will see it. Every chart I click on, I'm just going to, I can click on anything. I'm just going to click on AUDUSD. Boom. What is you, what are we noticing right now? Must have been an overbought, oversold level somewhere right here. Because we're starting to pull back close to this 20. All right. Now, one thing to note, this is one thing I want y'all to know, is that if you're on an uptrend, right, and you notice that these candles are not breaking this 20, chances are that 20 is acting as support. All right. So the best place to get in again on a uptrend or downtrend is the pullback. Market's going up, pulls back. We want to boom. All right. So if this is pulling back and we notice we looking and we haven't crossed the two, the, tw uh, the 20, we haven't crossed the 20 at all. So we know we're probably going to pull back to probably about here, maybe here. And it's probably going to go back up nine times out of 10. Right. So we know, okay. Wait, wait on the pullback, hop in on the buy, ride it up. Now, the moment we start closing below this 20, right, and we start getting candles here, then we may be pulling back, forming a new. So it may look like this, boom, and it may start coming down like that, right, until it decides to try to pass that 200, which is going to let you know it's a full trend change. All right, but for now, this is actually a beautiful trade. So look how this started out. All right, I'm going to just start here. Let's say, boom, we, I'm gonna, I need to zoom that in because I need y'all to see this. If you ever see this, okay, first, we got the candles above the 200, right? We basically in consolidation, meaning where the market was pretty much going sideways for quite some time, right? It's going sideways in this little box, okay? Sideways. Wasn't really making no big pulse moves, nothing, nothing too crazy. But I did notice this candle right here. You see a small candle like that? That means this sale has gotten weak, right? So how do you know where to enter? All right, we already above this 200. We got a big green candle right here that just engulfed this one. I mean, it just passed it up. Soon as we go above, one or two candles that's red over here, we hop in on the buy. Boom. The market end up going above the 20, right? So we holding. Now, because now the 20 is holding the candles. Notice we start going up on the 20. We pull back at the 20. This is another great opportunity for a buy, right? Because it didn't break through the 20. And we know we're still going up. Why? Because the candles are still above the 200. And they're above the 20, so we know we're pushing up, right? You buy again here. Boom. <laughs> Retest again. If you needed a third entry, you could. As long as we're not breaking below here and below here, you good. Even if it broke below here, below the 20, but it didn't break this, you good for a hold because as long as we don't break this, we in there. We in there. Now, just make sure you don't go too crazy on your lot sizes and stuff like that, but for the most part, you are in there. All right, from there, boom, we took off. We surged out of there. Boom, right, took off. Now, as you can see, this 20 is carrying these candles right here. This is carrying them. Stand above it, pull back a little bit, back up. Pull back a little bit, back up. And you eating the whole time. Now, you could be holding that long term or it could be a short term trade. But remember, you ever see the market start to slow down, 
and then they get a huge green candle or a huge red candle, depending, right? Because it could be like a small green one and then a huge red one just drop out of nowhere. Boom. And then you start, boom, you start getting them, them, them long red ones. Yeah, we hopping in. As soon as we search past, boom, we enter here, sell, and we ride it. Boom. We out of there. All right? So these are the plays that I want y'all to understand and get. But notice this about US 30. You see how we got, first off, rule of thumb is that we're under, we are under the 200. So we should be looking for what? Sales. We got a lot of rejection here, a lot of rejection there, but we stayed under this 200. So let me know the sales are still coming. Now, if all that was confusing to you and you're like, okay, well, it is far away from here. So I could sell until I get back to the 20. Boom. That was one play. Another play is you could have been waiting until it crossed below the 20, retested it, boom. So it crossed below, came down a little bit, retested it, boom, another candle, didn't break it, start dropping. We in there, sell off, boom, right? We selling off. Why are, and why would we hold that long term? Because the candles are below the 200, so it's a downtrend. So we know we're gonna, we should still be going down to about right in here. Right. But if you just want to scalp it, you can scalp it. But just remember that that 20 moving average is very, very, very powerful. Very, very, very powerful. All right. I'm going to show you all one more. We're going to click on some random NZD USD. Boom. Oh, this is hard. Look at this. I almost like the last one. Do you see what I'm saying? Watch this. Boom. Consolidation. All right. You see consolidation. But then what we get? A surge boom out of nowhere so check this out the moment this green candle start passing these right here we in there i mean he breaking out of there we took off boom we enter out of there retest second entry why because it's still above the 20 and it's still above the 200 we taking off every retest you could low-key buy again if you wanted to but we don't got to do that and the reason why you could be confident is because it's an overall uptrend based off this 200. Boom. And just watch it carry the candles. Notice how you start creating all this space in between, too. When you start creating space like that, oh, it's game time. All right? So use that 20 to your advantage. And you can use it on the downside as well, uptrends and or downtrends. All right? Look at it. We was riding above the 20 for a second. What are we waiting on? All right, we see these two candles here. We start closing below. Boom. This candle here almost got past that one. This next one definitely got past. So even if you sold here, boom, you still got all this drop. Why? Because we dropped below. Not quite below the, uh, now if it would have rejected here, this would have been an easy scout. You could have just caught the candle from here, sell, caught that to at least right here to the uh, 200. And if it would have bounced and went back up, you know, you'd have been good because you would have scalped it. But kept going. Boom. Retested the 200. Dropped again. Bow. But then all of a sudden we noticed what? Candles got way too far away from that 20. And it had to come all the way back and touch that 20. Right? I'm telling you. The rules apply with anything. All right? They, they apply with anything. And you could just keep doing this over and over and over on any chart Anytime you're doing anything. Notice the surge here. Notice the small cell candle, right? This surged out. Boom! Took took out that, that cell candle. Took it out quick. Buy. We hopped in for the buy. We above the 20 and the 200. And you can write it up like that. So, I mean, the, the rules apply. Mess around with this on any chart, any whatever you're doing, and just watch the results, bro. I'm telling you, you're going to be like, hey, this is powerful stuff, man. I was doing this for years, y'all. I was using the 8, the 20, the 50, and the 200. Uh, then I just recently, since I couldn't have my TDI scanner and stuff on here, I was like, okay, well, let me go back to that 20 because uh, I remember that 20 work. And, boy, let me tell you, smacking the markets over the peanut. You did, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'll let your boy. If you ain't in the Sway brokerage, make sure you sign up to my affiliate link below. And of course, you you know you know how I rock with y'all. Y'all sign up with your boy, you get stuff. You know what I'm saying? So email me at that email. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, man, I got a lot more coming, man. So y'all want to see more videos, let me know. Holla at your boy.